Hello everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I wanted to show you my new kitchen display of orchids. Um, these are orchids that are now uh, in bloom in my collection and some of the other orchids as you know have been in bloom since uh, Thanksgiving. So those flowers wilted and I had to take the spikes off of those so they're upstairs in a very bright eastern facing window and getting plenty of sunlight to bloom again and these are the ones that are in bloom right now so I thought I'd share these with you and um, I wanted to give you an update on this orchid that has been blooming since Christmas and it just keeps blooming and it's the one that has the spike that branches that I've never had this happen before and I wanted to show you there is a yellow leaf right here and as you see this yellow leaf goes into the crown of the plant but the rest of the crown of the plant here the middle where all the leaves come in together this is called the crown of the plant this is just a naturally occurring thing with orchids every year they lose a leaf or two and they grow a leaf or two. This is a very normal thing to happen. Now this is very different from crown rot and I'm going to tell you what crown rot is. Let's say you're at the grocery store and you're picking out a new orchid and you notice that it is yellow in the very center here. You don't buy that plant. What that means is that plant has been left in water and the roots have rotted and the first way you know is besides having soggy roots is the crown of the plant will turn yellow and get soggy. That's not the plant that you want. That plant's not going to do well. But this, this one is just losing a leaf and that is no big deal. That is just a naturally occurring uh, cycle for orchids. So as you know, I don't, I don't cut any leaves off of my plants. I'm just going to let that one naturally fall off. The only thing that I cut on my orchids are the spikes from the regular size Phalaenopsis. I don't even cut the spikes off of my miniature Phalaenopsis plants until they turn completely brown. But on the normal size fowls, I do cut them off. So I just thought I'd give you an update on that. And I thought I would show you my new blooms. And this is what everybody's looking like now. Just had to share my new display with you. I'm sure there will be things coming up that will be of interest to you, and I will share those. And I hope you have a highly favored, deeply loved, greatly blessed kind of day. And I'll see you next time.